Now, hi, this is Joe again with another review. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be discussing the 2019 film Rambo, The Last, <coughs> uh, Rambo, Last Blood. There's no word the in the title. Of course, this film is, you know, the fifth movie in the whole Rambo series, and it's applied as the last uh, film, uh, by, by, of course, the last scene in the film. Uh, of course, it's, once again, so it's the first known as John Rambo. And of course, this time, he's like a, like a 70 year old guy, which, which Stallone is in, in reality, he's about 70 years old already. Um, uh, only in the 70s now. And he, and this time, for the first time in the Italian Rambo series, you see him with a normal haircut. That's one. And two, there's the only Rambo movie which you don't see St uh, Stallone without a shirt on. <laughs> so that's two pluses right there. You see him with a normal haircut, and you don't see him, uh, now one time in the Italian movie with a shirt off. So, so, so there's, there's two good things going on with that, and it's the only two good things about this movie, um, because this time, it's, of course, there's no, unfortunately, there's no, this is the first time in, in 11 years when you had a Rambo film, uh, because, don't forget, in 2008, because of the success of the Rocky Balboa film, which came out, I think it came out in like 2006, 2007, Stallone brought back the Rambo character for one more film, which was John Rambo, and then, of course, you had the two uh, Cream movies, which they brought back the Rocky Balboa character. So so now, uh, since so, so the success of those two films, Stallone says, oh, let, let's bring back Rambo for, for a fifth time. Uh, even because, you know, the movie John Rat, you know, it was originally called John Rambo, and they cut out the John and just called it Rambo. That movie was that was not well liked. It was not well praised. So so figured, okay, let's give this you know one more shot with Rambo, and they call it. Oh, let's call it the Last Blood. So that way we end the whole Rambo. Hopefully, the end of the whole Rambo series. But of course, this one, unlike the other movies, was based in North America. Because usually the. Uh, the first, the first Rambo film technically was supposed to be like a Washington State or something, but but it was actually filmed in Western Canada. In mean, the first film, uh, Western Canada took place in the United, you know, like Washington State or something in, in the first film, and then the other film, the second film took place in Vietnam, and the third film took place in supposed to take place in, in Afghanistan, in the, fighting the Russians. The fourth one was supposed to be you know in the jungles of. Southeast Asia, you know, again in the in the fourth film. So this film, for the first time, took place in North America. Uh, technically, it's the second time, but who's counting? Uh, but this time, Rambo comes home to Arizona, which is supposed to be Rambo's home state in Arizona, and he's fighting this time instead of fighting the Russians or fighting Muslim terrorists or something like that. This time he's fighting a Mexican drug cartel. Not, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. So, so, so what happens is that Rambo is living with the wife, or, or should I say, widow of a, of a friend of his, and her and the woman's teenage or 18 year old granddaughter, and you know her grandfather was an old. Friend of uh, Rambo's, we didn't make all that clear. Um, even though the granddaughter kept calling Rambo Uncle John through the whole, through the whole film, at least the time that she was on it, and eventually we're going to get to that. Uh, he, she, you know, she called him Uncle John, even though in the previous four films it was not mentioned that he that Rambo had a family. All these, all these. Uh, a brother or a sister that had that had a uh, a niece. Uh, it was not mentioned at all. It was not referenced to, except that it was a, that the grandfather was a friend of his or something. That, that, that's all there was. But the granddaughter kept calling Rambo Uncle John through the whole movie. And and anyway, uh, he's there. He's helped. Does our jobs in in the ranch. He's helped. 
training the horses and taking care of the barn, doing, you know, doing fixing stuff. And, he, and underneath the ranch, he made this whole tunnel system. The Rambo made this whole tunnel system, which will, which will, you know, help at the end of this film. And what? And he, he said, "Oh, there's, oh, there's a cool system. Why don't Why don't you show my friend? Because the the granddaughter, the one who calls Rambo Uncle John, uh, Uncle for the film, says, "Oh, you might have to show my. I might have. A, we have a graduation party. You might have to show my friends the tunnel system." And he says, "Okay, go ahead." And, and all the friends, th th the the girls' friends, all thought it was cool. You know, this whole system. And what you find out was, you know, her parents, you found out that, that the girl's mother had, had passed away from cancer. And the father, when she was like four or five years old, left them. And you found out that he was like a miserable human being. And she wants to find out about more about his father, what, when you know, what's he like, and that, that type of thing. And so Rambo tells her oh, the guy's the guy's a piece of garbage, and the grandmother tells her the, tells her the same thing, but she didn't care. She, a friend of hers uh, tracked down her father down in Mexico, so she travels to Mexico uh, on, you know, on her own, goes down to Mexico, meets her father, and she big surprise she finds out that he really is a piece of garbage, and then she gets bummed out about it, and the friend who found. Her father says, "Oh, why don't we take you to a bar with those who get cut off drinks before you go back home?" She, she says, "No, nah, nah, I don't want to go." And, and she and her friend nagged her into it, and she gets kidnapped by a local uh, drug cartel. Uh, it doesn't really mention that much. Didn't really go into the, how much of a drug uh, zoo this guy was, or his gang was. Uh, they're mostly into like guns and kidnapping girls and setting up as hookers and so they get done with them. He drugs up the girls so they can have sex with the clients. And then when they get tired, tired of them or they get bored of having giving having sex with, with um, Johns as they call them. Uh, then this guy kills them. Because there's two guys, two brothers who, who does this whole thing. So, so eventually... Mambo found out what happened, tracks the, the friend down, and forces her to show where. And so, okay, I'm gonna take you to the bar, and that's it. He says, okay, fine, that's what I want. And then Mambo gets beat up. Believe it or not, Mambo actually does get beat up in this film. Um, you know, because, because yeah, he's like I say, he's over 70 years. Uh, Sloan is over 70 years old now, so it's not some 30. Six-year-old guy who who when he started the first Rambo movie, he was like he was like about like three. Um, depending what when the original Rambo film came out in 1982, it was like 35 or 36 years old at the time. I think about three five years. I think it was about three five years old when, when the movie was filmed, and it was almost three about to turn 36 by the time the movie came out in 82. So so he he was in. Shaped to, to do movies like that, but now he's all in the seventies. He, he doesn't have the physical shape. He's not in the physical shape anymore. Uh, that's why he never has his shoes off in, in this film. Uh, anyway, you know, focusing too much on the on the shirt thing. Uh, but but anyway, he he goes on for to Mexico, gets beat up. He comes back. And there was a girl who lost her daughter to this drug cartel, patches him patches up Stallone, patches up Rambo, and then he then Rambo does get the girl out and while they're driving back home to Arizona, she dies big spoiler, she dies in the car. He was so strung out on drugs because they kept pumping her with, with, with drugs. And, and of course, forcing her to have sex with with, with all sorts of different guys, uh, she unfortunately dies in the car, and, and he buries her, and and the mother and the grandmother is is, is upset and move and moves away from the ranch, at least for a while. And so, what Rambo decides to do because he knows that the, the this drug cartel is going to come after him, so 
So what he did is he sets up the entire match to go after these drug dealers. You know, like he did in the in the first uh, two movies where he sets sets up booby traps for you know the sheriff and his posse, you know, and the other officers in the first movie, and of course the Vietnam, the the Viet Cong army, you know, in the second film. He sets up all these booby traps that kills, that eventually kills these drug dealers, you know, one by one, and and it was some pretty gruesome stuff. In this one, I mean, he chops, he literally chops the legs and head off one particular, uh, you know, goon and 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 the drug dealers. He chops his head off, chops the legs off of one particular guy, and he keeps chopping. Legs, you know, body parts of this guy. He, he, he's like the Luke Skywalker of, of action films because, you know, George Lucas, I mean, the Star Wars films, he likes it when the, when the, when the Jedi's, you know, like Obi Wan Kenobi used to chop some, chop a hand off or chop a leg off. That's what Rambo was doing to some of these guys. It was like chop, chopping them up into pieces, literally. And then eventually he says to the last drug dealer who was the head of this gang he says I'm saving you for last he said I could have killed you a long time ago but I want to save you for last I'm going to rip your stinking heart out and of course he didn't say the word stinking but that's what that's what he meant so eventually of course he does save the last drug dealer for, you know the head drug dealer for last and knowing that but he cuts his over with his big iconic knife Cuts it to all the way down, and Rambo. And I'm serious; they're not making this up, folks. He actually reaches into his chest, takes his, and takes the guy's heart out, which is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in a Rambo film. I mean, it was really, really disgusting to, you know, to see that. And of course, the guy dies, and of course, Rambo does actually get shot in that scene, and and the scene in the tunnels. Where he was going after the 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 uh, drug dealers in, in the in the tunnel system that he built, I think the match. So 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 that was a pretty damn good bell where he had throughout the whole tunnel system was cutting off all these drug dealers, and that that was pretty. It, it was pretty. One hand it was cool, and the other hand was a little brutal, a little disgusting because, like I mentioned, uh, how he cut off all the body parts and stuff it was pretty pretty disgusting. That that then. then uh, as he gets the last drug dealer, you hear Rambo narrating, he said, now all the people who I fought for and with, they're now all ghosts now. And the last, uh, is that, and it goes all of that, and the last one, all the people I fought for, I said, well, anybody who, you know, messes with my friends, you know, messes with me, and that's, that's why I did, you know, I, I did what I did for the films. Uh, and my previous adventures, that's, that's why I did, did everything. And they did what I thought was right. And then he sits in a rocking chair on the porch of the house. And he just sits there like this. And you're holding on to his wounds. And that's pretty much how the movie ends. Um, unfortunately, made no, this movie and the Rambo film before made no reference about Colonel Troutman dying. <laughs> made absolutely no, no reference to that at all. Um, which is which is like a rip off to, rip off to the fans who said hey they didn't make no reference to uh, uh, Richard Crenna who played Colonel Trauma in the first three films before they made uh, the fourth film he passed away so so <laughs> I was annoyed that they never made any reference in the Rambo films about Colonel Trauma uh, passing away and stuff they, they made no references to it. And it's implied by the end of the film, in the last scene they just described, that he had, uh, that, that he was dying, you know, about to die in that, in that rocking chair on the porch. And it implied that, that, that it's going to be the last film by that, by that one scene. And, it's, and one thing is, it stretches the, the disbelief here, that the whole, the, all these drug dealers, this drug cartel, comes into the United States, into the state of Arizona to kill Rambo. I mean, that's a little... I'm not saying it doesn't happen, what won't happen in reality, but it stretches a disbelief here that this caravan of, of, of criminals, really, Mexican criminals, comes into the United States just to kill, just to get after Rambo. I mean, that, that that's a little... stretches disbelief there. 
But I think anything was. I mean, the fourth Rambo film, the last Rambo and Last Blood, could have been a whole lot better film. Um, and the funny thing is, this is about the same running length as uh, the third Rambo film. It's about an hour and 40 minutes, which I'm surprised it was that long. I thought it was much shorter than that. It felt much shorter than that. Uh, maybe because I watched it on a regular you know, on a broadcast cable channel. I watched it on a sci fi channel, which actually has commercial. Commercials up the wazoo uh, every five minutes. So, of course, the part will cut, cut about like, 10 minutes out of it and the cursing and everything else. But, you know, the movie, I thought the movie could have been a little bit, actually, obviously, could have been better. But, I guess I had the one nitpick with the drug dealers coming in, coming into, uh, you know, this Amazon ranch to kill Mambo. I mean, that, that, that stresses the display. How can they not? He stopped at the border with all the weapons they were carrying. I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, I mean, it stretches the dress, it stretches the disbelief factor here. So, that's, but that's my review of the movie uh, Rambo: Last Blood. Please click on the video. Please read it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please forward this video to your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and on my YouTube channel, uh, RallyC.com. That's all W D Y. RallyC.com is a homepage to my review. Christy Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.